आई एम हियर इन ऑर्चर्ड ऑफ सिट्रस और संतरा इन दी संतरा नगरी ऑफ इंडिया नागपुर एंड आई एम इन साइड आई सी आर्स सिट्रस रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट एंड आई हैव विथ मी डॉक्टर दिलीप घोष हु इज द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द सिट्रस रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ही इज अ प्लांट पैथोलॉजिस्ट डॉक्टर घोष very yes, simple sir. question normally citrus doesn't grow in such dry conditions we have center of origin is khasi hills northeast how did citrus become so popular in nagpur that nagpur has become the santra nagri of india you see yeah, it is sometime during 1890 95 that time raguji bhosle uh, the king of this uh, region maharaj uh, he brought nagpur santra from northeastern part of, of the country and he started growing it in his own garden and slowly that crop become popularized in the entire region because of of its unique soil and climatic conditions that over the years for last 30 40 years that nagpur santra has uh, become very popular in this region and uh, it is going very well in this region now what is unique about citrus and why uh, why do people love santra so much yeah you know it is uh, it is a crop uh, that has a huge nutritional value as far as the farmers are concerned they if many farmers majority of the farmers they are growing the citrus crop very successfully and uh, they are g- getting good good amount of profit out of their cultivation Uh, that is the reason it is very very popular in that and not only in nagpur nagpur is famous for nagpur santra but apart from nagpur there are any other places like uh, in 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 kinno kinno is very popular in punjab haryana rajasthan kinno mandarin if you go to south andhra pradesh there is uh, satguri sweet orange is very popular in that region andhra pradesh you go again down in tamil nadu that periaculum that region dindigul that area that is again growing successfully mandarin as well as acid lime you go to the northeastern part of our country they are also uh, mandarin that khasi mandarin is grown there then assam lemon and now we are also from our institute we have a regional station in assam we find that in that condition many many sweet orange cultivars like mosambi which is famous in that region cutter valencia then our flame grapefruit pamelo so these are the different other cultivars that is again performing in our experimental trial in assam that is growing very well in that region now how does santra plant propagate and is that something which has been mastered at your institute oh that is a very very important issue you have raised you know citrus being a vegetatively propagated crop it always uh, the transfer of the graft transmissible pathogens like virus and virus like pathogen greening bacterium that is a major major issue as far as the nursery production of planting material of citrus is concerned is very very important you know if the mother plant is infected by one or the other pathogen automatically all progeny planting material in the nursery that will get infected in the entire country there is a demand of about 1.5 crores planting material every year for new plantation as well as replanting within the existing orchard in our institute we have successfully developed demonstrated this technology of production of quality planting material certified planting material that are free from major graft transmissible pathogens major soil borne pathogens and every year our institute is producing around 3 to 3.5 lakhs certified disease free planting material and those plants are being distributed in the entire country but the remaining plants which is being produced by private owners or other places in the entire country uh, there is a need to check the quality because many a times it is only the infected planting material that is produced in other in other nurseries so what we are doing whatever technology we have standardized in our institute now we are we are sharing this commercializing this technology with different private nursery owners meanwhile our institute has signed mou with nine private owners 
and they have taken our technology. They are also started producing quality planting material in their nurseries. We have a plan that in next one year time, we will do similar type of memorandum of understanding with at least 50 nursery owners in the entire country so that all these nursery in association with this institute, with the guidance of this institute, with the technological help from this institute can produce similar good quality planting material in different citrus growing states of the country. That's what our target is and hopefully I'm very optimistic that we can, we'll do it. What are these orange plants which we see behind us? Yeah, actually these are the plants. Uh, these plants has been imported from other countries like US and Brazil. Because you know, this is, uh, we have exotic plants of sweet orange group of cultivars. We have exotic plants of mandarin group of cultivars. What we are doing, the plants which has done very well in other countries like US or Brazil, we, before releasing it to the farmers, we are doing our experiment whether these imported plants, how it is performing in our soil and agrotic climatic conditions. And you will appreciate that in very recently, last year, we have released officially after thorough investigations and experiment, we have already released uh, Carter Valencia, which is a sweet orange group of cultivars from this institute, then US Pamela 145, the, this type of new, new cultivars we have uh, released from our institute officially and we are also distributing planting material of those release varieties to different nursery owners who are selling those plants. Do we, yeah. do we export citrus fruits and is there an opportunity there? Yeah. In fact, the export of citrus in, in, in other countries is not so, uh, picture is not so bright, but we have a huge opportunities. Why it is not that much uh, export? Because, you know, uh, export depends again the exportable quality of varieties, exportable quality, uh, number of exportable quality fruits present, and then a lot of other issues like uh, policies issues, then infrastructures. There are certain issues. That is a huge uh, subject on that. But yes, the beauty of this region is that in this condition, we have two flowering. One is Ambia, another one is Mnook. Ambia flowering, that is sometime in February, March, and then that harvesting is in October, November. But Mnook crop, which is grown here, that has flowering in June, July, and harvested in March, April. The Mnook time harvesting, that time fresh fruit is not available in the entire world of Nagpur Shantra. So we are encouraging the farmers that if a farmer producer companies or farmers, uh, they are making a team. So that type of associations, if that clusters approach, to clusters approach, if moog crop can be grown successfully by using our recommended technologies, recommended scientific products and technologies, so more number of exportable fruits of Nagpur Chandra during moog bahar, that can be produced and that will be successfully exported to other, uh, other countries. So the future of citrus is bright in India? Very, very, very bright, very, very bright. And uh, may our institute is, apart from our research and technology development, we are also, whatever technologies we have developed, that also we are sharing through our extension activities by, by, by developing a lot of literature in local languages, by sharing our advisories through newspaper or other electronic medium. And a lot of farmers, we are bringing them here or also we are going to the farmer's field for training. And I'm very sure uh, with, the, with, the, with the support of the institute, with the support of farmers, with the very good policies that has been taken by government of India, with all this support team, well, certainly the citrus industry will of, in, of the country will flourish much more. And certainly the citrus industry, you know, this value is of around 25,000 crores of our country, 25 of the citrus industry of our country. I am very confident that this volume, this huge number of people are involved with citrus cultivation, they are processing, they are transport, value added product development, they are export. This value once we enhance from 25,000 to 50,000 crores, certainly this citrus sector will contribute to fulfill the dream of our Honorable Prime Minister, who, is having, who is, has an ambitious dream to make our country $5 trillion economy. We are very confident that 
citrus industry of our country will certainly contribute significantly to achieve our, our national ambitious ambition of reaching $5 trillion economy. So that was Dr. Dilip Ghosh telling us how the citrus plants in this region flourish and how the industry can become a big export earner for the country. Key lies in getting quality planting material for which the technology has been mastered at this institute. Now it needs to be propagated and multiplied. In the Santra Nagri of India at the Central Citrus Research Institute, this is Pallav Bagla.